Hello and welcome to the session of the armamentarium that are used in the oral surgery. Starting with the scalpel, which is the tool that is used to hold multiple shapes and sizes of blades. And these blades are to make incisions along the oral mucosa and around the teeth to make flaps. Then we have elevators that are used to elevate the mucoperiosteum away from the bone. And we have the group of the retractors, different designs of retractors that will achieve multiple purposes, especially after making the flaps, they will retract the soft tissue and uh, any muscular organ such as the cheek or the tongue away from the field of surgery. Also we have forceps that are used also to hold some tissue or objects during the surgeries. We have the bone cutters such as the bone burst, the rongeur, the bone file and the bone chisel along with the mallet and we have the periapical curate to clean any wound site from debris or any pathological disorder. We have also some objects that are used to help in the mouth opening such as the mouth props and the bite blocks. We have different designs of forceps such as the artery forceps or in other way it's called the hemostat and also it's for grasping tissue or blood vessels. We have the needle holder which is used to hold the needle for suturing. We have scissors in different designs such as the tissue scissors or the suture scissors. Coming to the sutures for the closure of any wounds that we have in the oral cavity, we have different kinds of sutures depending on the suture size, the suture material, the needle size, the cross section of the needle. We will come to this in a moment. Coming to the hemostatic agents, starting with the bone wax, the gelatin sponge, collagen sponge and the iodoform gauze and mainly iodoform gauze is for the closure of wounds and to relieve any pain associated with dry sockets for example for iodoform paste. Now we have also when we cut the bone we need to cool it all the time so we have irrigation system that is associated with the mortar and we have the plastic syringe and the plastic syringe is usually a blunt end not a sharp end as you can see here and all for the delivery of irrigants mainly saline to cool down the burr the bone i hope this video was beneficial for everyone if you have any questions please contact us thank you Thank you.